Episode 33, we're gonna be speaking pool plan. We're on the net zero desert comfort experience right now in one of the guest bedrooms. We're gonna talk about pool plan, which if you've been on our YouTube channel or follow us on Instagram, you'll see us talking about pool plan and how we do it in phases. We're gonna be speaking about here, the final phase of the pool plan actually being built here on site. So we're standing here, this is the mobile office of Andrew Clark, who's our project manager running our net zero build. And again, he has his posted extreme notes here. Uh, the reason being is that typically this meeting's done in our conference room. So most of you have, that have seen our YouTube channel and follow us for some time, we do pull plan, P-U-L-L, right? Pull plan, pulling the schedule forward. This is a very comprehensive scheduling process where we're involving all of our trade partners and subcontractors. So as we're doing this meeting, this isn't just our team, you know, Spencer, my director of operations, myself, or Andrew building a schedule and then telling the trades, you need to hit these dates. We're actually having a foreman, leadership, owners from each company that's involved in the building process. They're representing this meeting. We're going through all the phasing, we're going through the sequencing, getting commitments, getting manpower, durations, and then building that on the board. And so as you can see here, what's happening is we're coming down to the final aspect of the build. Now with some of these complicated builds, this one being a little bit more on the complicated side, where you have hillside, you know, a lot of details and components, we're typically doing three phases of pool plan. So on a three phase pool plan, we're going to typically do the hillside work to concrete. So all of the retaining walls and the sequencing as we're layering up the hillside, driveway, utilities, you know, waterproofing, grading, right? You have to stack all these components because you can't just mass grade the whole site as you're trying to do five tiers of retaining walls. So it's very comprehensive and that's why we have to have it to slab. Phase two typically takes us to drywall, right? That's gonna be you know, framing, mechanicals, roofing, waterproofing, windows. So all of those vendors are gonna be coming in and then we take it to drywall. And then we do our final phase, which would take drywall to completion, right? All the finished trades from cabinetry to countertops to painting and um, you know, wood flooring, every component that goes in. So now on this, this is phase three. Now on a very, uh, call it more simple build, or maybe if we're doing like a farm lot where it's a flat lot, a lot of cases we may do two, maybe even one, right? Maybe we'll take it from breaking ground to drywall, then drywall to completion, or we may just do the full project depending on scope. So here what's happened is, you know, uh, Andrew and Spencer were working with our trades and really they're building our, our sheets here, right? So we know um, the duration, you know, the date, uh, we know what trade it is, we know the scope of work, and then the predecessor and successor. And this is all built on the wall, typically in our conference room, but here it's all built as we're figuring out our dates. And this really gives us an accurate schedule. So when we go to the client and say, we're gonna be done by this date, we know it's gonna be right because we understand the exact flow, right? And with everyone involved, they understand their scope of work, their manpower, their restraints. Have to always factor in the restraints, right? As we're building a pool plan schedule or even a normal milestone, right? Critical path method schedule, a CPM schedule. And so now that we have all the hardscape, you know, we're delivering pavers at the mechanical yard or metal panels, you know, installing our gates, setting our pool equipment, uh, plant shrubs, landscape lighting, pavers at our driveway, final grade for DG, put in the DG, side inspection final, and of course, as we get to CFO, and then we put the pebble interior on the pool because now we pass CFO, and then we put in the furniture, and so we have a design date for our furniture company to come in and then of course photo video youtube get our clients in for the holidays so again this is what this looks like a lot of people have asked us what does this look like in the field in the conference room and this is how we're putting the notes up it gives us plenty of workable space between these four walls to get this up we can come through we can photo document we'll video these walls we'll take notes we'll take pictures we then put that in the builder trend so now we can go into builder trend we put our pool plan schedule we send that out to all the subcontractors. Because our client's very involved in this one, we'll give uh, them a copy. Very often at the very end of the schedule, we're giving our client a pretty detailed schedule. You know, throughout the build, you're not gonna give them every detail, but at the end you will because they have to plan, you know, if they're renting a home or they're selling the home, they're, you know, setting up their furniture movers, right? It's very comprehensive and we wanna make sure that everyone's on the same page. Now be on the lookout because for this project, the Net Zero Build, our Desert Comfort Experience, 
our plan per the pool plan, which we will hit, right? I guess I should be careful about that, but here we're on video. We are gonna be uh, finishing December 16th on Friday. So we're actually gonna be wrapping up all construction, landscape, pool, interior on Thursday, December 15th. On December 16th, we have planned that uh, our interior designer will bring their moving company. They're gonna furnish the home, bring everything here, and then that means shortly thereafter, after the holidays, after our clients move in, we're gonna return, we're gonna do our YouTube video, our full video tour of the entire project from front to back, all the photos through Jesse Smith. And so make sure to stay tuned so that you can see the content that will be coming out early next year, 2023, video, photo, as all of this wraps up.